this is Jimmy from the Productive Engineer. Today, we're going to ask that eternal question. Where exactly are my Evernote notes on my Mac? And we're also going to then learn how to back up our notes into a backup archive or HTML archive and, and put that in a secure location. So first, let's answer that question. Where exactly are our notes in Evernote? Other applications make it a little more easy to, or a little easier to find exactly where our, your data files are. In the case of Evernote, however, it's not immediately apparent. They don't give you any outward indication of exactly where your files are. So rather than having to search your hard drive and hoping you find those files, it's much easier to just hold down the option key, go up to help, and you'll see a troubleshooting menu option that goes into a drop down menu. Now it's important to hold down the option key because if you don't, what will happen is when you go in to help without holding down the key, you'll see that that troubleshooting section is not available. So again, we're going to click off, click option, click help. And now the troubleshooting menu will appear. We're going to go to open database folder. This is the folder where your notes database resides. So we're going to click on that and that will bring up a fine. Oops. <laughs> Easy for me to say. It will bring up a finder window uh, with a bunch of different uh, folders. The folder that holds the content is ironically named content. So we're going to double click that and we're going to see a listing of every note that I have, all 3,518 of them. Um, if we explore one of them, as I have one here open, you'll see a couple of different files here. Card is essentially a, a, a thumbnail of your actual images of the card. Content ENM, ENML is a X, XML type variant that X, Evernote uses to store the actual content of the note, what you actually type into the note. And then for your attachments, in this case, I have a PowerPoint PPTX extension for a PowerPoint file that I've attached to this note. So all of that data is held in a folder that is representative of all the elements of the note. So, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, really simple and easy to pull it up. Um, you can actually use the get info section to actually find out the exact path. So in the future, you can actually just take the path directly. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty deep in my, uh, folders here. You got my home folder, my library folder, containers, and then it has a bunch of weird Evernote um, uh, reverse domains, and then a bunch of folders before you finally get to the actual notes. Uh, but at least now you know how to get there. Thanks. Okay, so let's now take a look at how we actually export all of our notes uh, into a backup file. So with Evernote open, I'm going to go hit all notes. I'm going to hit control A. I'm going to go to file, export notes. That's going to bring up a file dialog box here. I can give my files uh, backup a name. The first thing I'm going to do is give it a good name. So I'm going to say like Evernote back up and I'm going to give the date, which is 7, 25, 2019. Actually it's 26. See, I'm already off 2019. The next thing I do is I select my folder. I have an Evernote folder that's on my Drobo, uh, back up folder that I defined. And then I have a choice here of formats. So typically if you're doing just doing a backup and you're not looking to transition into another system. Uh, I would use X, uh, Evernote's um, format. It's basically a, a, a variant of XML, the ENEX format. And you have an interesting option right here, which is include tags for each note. So basically, in addition to backing up, you can actually include your tags, um, which I think you should do. Um, I bring that. Um, I typically always click that when I do my backup. So I'm going to click Save. And this is going to take a while. We'll come back uh, when we're done. Wow, so that took almost 
25 minutes to get uh, that backup done of my 3,530 notes. But as you can see here, it tells me my export is complete. And if I go here, you can see my backup file is about 21.38 gigabytes of data. And it's one big continuous file. So that is how you export your Evernote notes um, to make a backup. Next, we'll look at HTML. OK, so now we're going to look at how do we export our, all of our X into a HTML um, export structure. So much the same way we did before, we're going to click on all notes. We're going to select all the notes by hitting Command A. We're going to go up to File, Export Notes. And again, the same file dialog window comes up as we had with the when we did it with the Evernote XML format. We're going to give it another name. This time we're going to call it Evernote HTML Backup 7 26 2019. Again, I just like putting that date on the end. We're going to change it from Evernote XML format to HTML. And we're going to press save. And here we go. OK, we're back. It took about 20 minutes for the um, export of all of my notes as HTML files. Um, we're actually going to go in and double click it and see that we have um, basically an HTML file and a resources file for each one of our notes that have uh, both a note and an attachment. If it's just a note without an attachment, then it'll just be an HTML file. So in this case, you can see like this Evernote guide that I have here. It, the note itself is in HTML, and then there's a separate resources folder that contains the PDF that I attached to the note. OK, so thank you for tuning in. If you liked this video, please click the Like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more content or get notified when we have more content available, please subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more tips, you can also check out our website where we actually have an article on how to back up and export um, Evernote notes. It has a lot of detail. Um, the website is www.theproductiveengineer.net. Thanks for tuning in.